limited to the original Halgan CBRP or Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance Track, service in 1971, and is still in service now, which means that in some cases three generations of soldiers from one family have served on the same cemetery. During the last 46 years, Scimitar has served in the British Army as a reconnaissance and fighting vehicle at the Falkland War, East Egypt, Bosnia and Kosovo, and to both Gulf Wars in Iraq, and of course, most recently, in Afghanistan. In 2010, the contract was awarded for the development, testing and management of an upgraded Scimitar 2 standard version. This was undertaken by the system of 50 2 vehicles. These were completed in early 2002. The Scimitar 2 combat vehicle was rehoused to give better mine blast protection for troops, plus improved armor to enhance blast and ballistic protection. It also provides mine protected shock absorbing seating in every two positions, all of which will extend its in-service cycle. The weight being 12 metric tons as opposed to 8 tons for Scimitar 1. Scimitar 2's low ground pressure and still small size make it useful when the terrain is hostile and movement is difficult. The vehicle carries a 30mm rock cannon for self-defense. Secondly armament is a coaxially mounted 7.62mm GPMG. Multi-barrels, smoke grenades and charges are also fitted to enable instant smoke screening. It is used by the armored cavalry regiment of the Royal Armoured Corps and also by wrecking elements of the Armoured Infantry and the main Staff of Hank Regiment. A Cummins 5.9 litre, 190 horsepower diesel engine replaces the original Jaguar 4.2 litre petrol engine fitted in Scimitar 1. Maximum speed is 50 miles per hour. Scimitars will be replaced once the new Ajax vehicle comes into service. There's not a lot of room in a scimitar, so the crew is free. The commander today is Corporal Oliver, and the driver is Lance Corporal Underhill, both from the AGDU here in Hollington.